This episode of Video Gamers Oasis Play Theater is brought to you by Feature Points, Get Free Gift Cards, Games, and much more. Try free apps, get rewards. Video Gamers Oasis.com Play Theater. Subscribe. In this episode of King's Quest 3 to Air as Human, Gwydion temporarily escapes his tyrannical master, Mananen, to visit a village shop and the three bears. Stay tuned. VideoGamersOasis.com Play Subscribe I'm your host, The Geek. Welcome back to another walkthrough of King's Quest 3 to Air as Human. And you can uh, download your free copy of this game. It's a free... Um, it's a free uh, wear version of the classic 80, late 80s, early 90s point-and-click adventure game. Uh, st originally starred in King Graham, now it stars his son, Gwydion, who has been abducted by a sinister wizard. So let's uh, see if we can, if we can uh, help our hero, Gwydion, escape from Manannan, doing a step-by-step -step process of going to different uh, missions. So let's continue our adventure. We've got a lot of catching up to do, but uh, sit that back, relax, and enjoy. Have a nice popcorn, a nice beverage, and we'll enjoy our walkthrough. So we're just what we're gonna do. We're gonna restore our game. We were last at the bedroom. So restore the bedroom. So we're at the bedroom now. Just check our items here. Retrieve. Okay, there's our items underneath the bed. We have to make sure they're safe. Now, just make sure, uh, where's our inventory? We have no inventory. Okay, let's see what Mananen needs. Does he need anything? Is he, will he, will we require him something from him? Or will he, okay, he's sleeping. All right, make sure, do we have everything that we need? Have we completed all the missions so far that we needed to do up to this point? All right, let's see what we got. Do we have the eagle's feather? We have the eagle's feather, okay. Um, hmm, okay. What do we need, what do we need? All right, we need to go while he's sleeping, okay. We'll just restore our game. Bedroom again. Okay, let, we're, let's get the, um, <clears throat> we've already been to the library last time. We, we already had some information about Manan and how he's a sinister, bastard who abducts children and then kills them at 18. So let's uh, see if we can uh, get something that we need. Let's get the... Um, uh, take that and... What else do we need? I don't think we need anything else here. We better hurry. Now's the chance. So while he's sleeping, let's get out, go downstairs. All right, let's get out of the house. Let's check our map, see if we can do a, a warp. The magic map's faded ink has brightened in certain spots, depicting locations in Ludor. All right, let's let's. See if we can warp. You pull out your magic map. Oh, nice. Now we're going to use it. Magic map. What are we looking at? Okay, there's the castle up there. Let's go to the village. You feel a strange pulling sensation. I don't have much time. Ah, where's the store? Good day to you, young man. What can I do for you? Okay. Um, you know what? 
I better get out of here, because I'm running out of time. Because the, the, the color is already in yellow. I don't want to be rushed. So let's look at you our map. Out your magic map. Let's get back to the castle quickly. Don't want to take any risks with this you guy. Feel a strange this magician. Pulling sensation. But at least we know how to use the magician. We know how to use the teleport. Uh-oh. Gotta hurry. Time's running out. Jeez. Ah, crap. He's gonna get me. How much time do I have till he gets wakes up? I think I have some time. All right, get in the bedroom. Get in the freaking bedroom. Holy crap, get in there. Dump your items now. Hide all. Okay. Woo! Save bedroom. Yes, I wanna overwrite. All right, where, where, okay, good. That was close, because if, if he had caught me with the items, he would have killed me. I would have been a dead, ba dead boy for sure. Let's just wait for, uh, for Manan to give me some instructions. All right, what I do you want, Manan? Ravenous. Fix me something immediately. Yes, sir. Okay. Let's see if I can get him some food. He always wants to eat. I noticed that. I wonder if there's anything else he can eat. I don't really want to give him the mutton. Mananan is impatiently waiting for his food. His stomach rumbles as he drums his gnarled fingers on the table. You'd better feed him quickly, or dire consequences may result. All right, let's get him something to eat. Quickly. What can I possibly get him? There are drying herbs in the kitchen shelf. Hold the kitchen. The kitchen. The kitchen. The kit. Yeah, yeah, I can't get him any other food except what I have. Your muscles ache. Yeah. The barrel. The barrel. Yeah, we have to give him what I have. I have no choice. I, I have to give him the mutton. Mananan is impatiently waiting for his food. His stomach rumbles yes, as he drums his gnarled fingers on the table. We know, we know. You'd better feed him quickly, or dire consequences may result. Okay, I'll give him some food. All right. Give him the mutton. Here you go. Mananan, here's a mutton for you. Eat up. Devouring the mutton. All right, let's talk to him. I am curious, Master. A dangerous mindset, boy. I know, but hmm. I was wondering, how powerful are you? Impudence. What? Not at all. I was just wondering. You're just asking a question. If Ludor were to be invaded, would it be well protected by your magic? <laughs> of course, irrelevant though that notion is, invaders would never reach these shores. My spells over the wind and weather would destroy any hostiles long before oh, they really? caught sight of this land. You surmise that you won't be taking any boat trips while he's around. Good idea. As for invaders from the west, they would only meet their demise in the endless scorched wasteland. Oh yes. And even if they endured. They would never survive an encounter with that desert beauty. Mananan's mouth flickers upwards slightly in an odd manner. Hmm. You suppress the urge to probe his mind more on the subject. Can I talk to him a little Mananin bit more? does not appear in oh. much of a talkative mood at the moment. 
Conversing with him further might be unwise. All right. Let's uh, save our progress. Let's save it as Mananan. Mananan. Um, what's it called again? Mutton. We gave him the mutton. We had no choice. There's nothing else to eat. There are various bottles and bowls. There are very. There are various. All right. Let's uh, go upstairs. Maybe uh, he'll have another mission for me to do. Or maybe he'll leave the house. That'd be even better. to sleep. Might as well have a rest. Okay, gets up again. Can I go to sleep again? Yeah, apparently I've had enough sleep. Save our progress as a bedroom. Mm, banana mutton. What is he going to want now? Let's go see banana. He's, he's going to be in the hallway. Here he is. Hey, what do you want? I decided to take a journey. Splendid. Now I got the house to myself. Woohoo! Let's save our progress. Mananan. Journey. He's on a journey. So, that means I can go outside and go on some exploring missions. Nice. <clears throat> so, let's go downstairs. Go outside. Oh, that would be even better. Maybe we could pick up some items. The oak cabinet has a brass handle on its door. Your feather duster is lying on its top. Okay, let's see if we can open that door. You try to turn the handle, but the door is locked. It's locked. You know what? I'm not going to risk it yet. All right, let's go outside. Now, we're going back to the village. Taking our magic, oh shoot, I forgot about that. Let us go get our, <laughs> forgot to get the map. So we're gonna, we're gonna retrieve the map. That's all we need right now. Let's go outside quickly. Let's get our item and let's you see if we can out use it. Your magic map. Let's travel to the village. You feel a strange pulling sensation. All right. Nice. Let's go back to the general store. We were going to see him originally, but we had to leave because we were running out of time. Good day to you, young man. What can I do okay. for you? Let's talk to the gentleman. Greetings. What have you for sale? I have many an item that might interest you. For okay. instance, you might wish to purchase a leather pouch. Very suitable for carrying things in, as you might expect. Indeed. Right. Anything else? Hmm. I have numerous consumables that you may wish to acquire. Take a look at the shelf behind me. See if there's anything you would like. Look at this the item. shelves are stocked with many useful items, such as leather pouches, salt, fish oil, and lard. <coughs> okay. The shelves are stocked. 
Let's talk to him some more. Uh, let's talk to the, let's call it village store. Talk to him again. Oh, I'm in that game around. Save, restore our game. I just want to go back to where I was originally. Let's talk to him again. Tell me, good storekeep. Okay. What news is there of the outside world? Hmm. Oh, I'm afraid I don't keep up much with current events. I have my own concerns, what with my work and family. I don't need any more from anywhere else spoiling my day. In that case, hmm. anything new happening around here? Around Ludor? It is hmm. the same old town as it has always been. Ships oh, yes. come in, ships go out. People come in, people go out. Money comes in, and I'd prefer not to think on the next part. Why? If you don't mind my asking, how many in your family? I have about six children. About? Hmm. Aren't you sure? I am but the breadwinner of my household. I spend most of my day, each day, tending my shop. If my dearest says that I have six children, then who am I to argue with her? Wow. He doesn't even know how many children he has, for sure. Alright, let's talk to him one more time. How long have you been married? Ten years. <clears throat> wow. Happily? The first marriage was an enjoyable time. The second marriage helped to pass the time. The third was a total waste of time. And now? What? I have not the desire to spoil my present union with the binds of legal matrimony. Why ruin a perfectly good relationship? Okay. It's a bit of a modern relationship there. What do you know about Mananin? Okay. The shopkeeper appears a little uncomfortable ah. at the mention of the wizard's name. I... I... I would rather not be discussing the likes of him. Not out loud, anyway. Hmm. He has a way of knowing what's going on in this town. He can see things only a wizard could see. Yes. Oh. Or he knows how to use a telescope. Besides, hmm. he's in charge around here. So long as we stay quiet and peaceful and do as we're asked, no harm will come to us. You should know that, my young man. Oh, I do. Hmm. More than you could know. Indeed. Talk to him a little bit more. What sort of curfews does Mananen have on the town's people? The usual. No noise uh. after nightfall. Bed before the 20th hour. No festivities at <clears throat> any time. Oh. Nothing unreasonable, I should think. Especially when saying otherwise means... Exactly. Are you keeping well? As well as can be expected. Hmm. Aside from the shakes I get from time to time, the sores, the dizziness, the headaches, and the ringing in my ears, I'm doing quite well. I'm glad to hear it. Wow. Of course. I'm fine when I don't think on my past wives. <laughs> All right. You have nothing further to discuss with the storekeep. A content, hairy dog sits on the floor of the store. Its name tag reads, Hank. Let's talk to, let's pet the dog. You pat the hairy dog and are rewarded with a handful of malted hair. Oh, excellent. Now I got some dog hair. Ah, save our progress. Dog hair. Dog hair. As it is chilly so close to the ocean, the wood stove is hard at work heating the little store. Not unless you want singed hands. Not a good idea, yes. The store provides supplies enough to meet the needs of the village. A friendly storekeeper bustles busily behind the counter. The store provides supplies enough to meet the need. Okay. If you want it, pay for it. I've got some dusting to do. Let me know if you need anything. All right. Well, it looks like uh, I've done enough here for now. All right. I think we have some time just to go to uh, the bear's house. Get our magic map. You pull out your magic map. All right. Let's go to the bear's house. You feel a strange pulling sensation. All right. Teleportation. Sweet. I gotta love it. This quaint little cottage is home to the bears. All right. Where's this? This quaint little cottage. Can I go in this little uh, garage area or shed?
It would be better to use the door. Let's knock on the door. There is no answer. Okay. Are we gonna walk in? Oh wow. We're in the bear's house. Homely bunch, aren't they? Ah, three little bears. Homely bunch. Outside you see the forest. The cute little chair looks sturdily built. The wooden chair is very large and solidly built. The medium-sized chair looks soft and comfortable. There are bowls of porridge on the table. A far cry from the fish, honey, and berries you were expecting. Okay. There are bowls of... Okay, let's get the middle bowl. Just right. So you take it with you. Just like go to Loxwood. Ah, porridge. Save that. Now, let's go upstairs. I think there's something upstairs we need to get. Homely, but... Alright. There's something in here. A dresser sits in the corner of the room. What's in the dresser? You closely examine the contents of the drawer. Okay. This drawer is filled with various implements for sewing. It must belong to Mama Bear. All right. Where's the thimble? There is a little silver sewing thimble Aha. here. You pick up the thimble. Excellent. Got the thimble. Say our progress, thimble. All right, excellent. <clears throat> oh, oh, oh! Better close that drawer. That's better. <laughs> we don't want them to see or suspect where I've been. Oh, 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 oh! What's what exactly is up there? Gideon, what's up there? It's curious. You sincerely hope that head isn't real. After all, what species would hunt its own? Yeah, that's bizarre to have a bear's hat in a three bear's house. <sighs> really bizarre. Alright, we've done enough here. Let's head on out. Okay. That's not where I want to go. Okay. More to the right. Okay. Oh, there they come out. Three bears, they're back. Hurry along there, Mildred. <sighs> yes, George. Mama! My button's not done up! Button? Haven't you taught him anything, Mildred? It's a bit difficult <clears throat> for him, George. George! Ah, uh, those are the three little bears heading on out. Okay, so we've got the thimble. Uh, see, I think what I'll do... The little thimble is fashioned of bright, gleaming silver. You place the thimble on your finger. It's made for bigger fingers than yours, though. Let's look at the porridge. The warm porridge is in a pretty blue ceramic bowl. Its aroma wafts up to and tantalizes your nose. Okay. You don't feel like sitting down and taking a bite. Maybe later. With the hair. The wad of dog hair is dirty white and brown. Examine the it. The dog fur feels very coarse to the touch. All right. Let's you pull uh, out your take magic, the magic map. map. Hang on. All right. We're still back where we are. Let's see if we can use that thimble.
Ah, the cliff. Watch your step. All right, that's not where I need to go, obviously. Head more to the left. back. Bears are back home. Alright, better leave them alone. Ah! The Ah! Damn it! The robbers took my things. After recovering from a whack on the head at the hands of the bandits, you stand unsteadily. Taking stock of your holdings, you discover that you've been robbed. Let's restore our game, Thimble. Alright, this time we'll go to left. Right. Gotta watch out for those robbers. I can't go there. You move up. Go left. Not days. They're all the. No, not the bard right now. I don't want to go to the bard. Okay, this is where I want to go. A beautiful stream ripples through these stately trees. Get a thimble full of salt water. Maybe that'll help. <clears throat> you can't use that. You can't. Okay, can't use that there. That's obviously not what I need to do. <clears throat> I do normal water. A beautiful stream ripples through these stately trees. Can I use a thimble of this water? You can't use that. Can't use that item there. Okay, what's up there? Can I use mud? Wet mud lines the banks of the stream. Can I use a thimble with this? You can't use that item there. Okay, is there anything else I can use with that item? Okay, here we go. A waterfall cascades from the snowless mountain, evidence that Manannan occasionally has good moods. A rushing stream flows along the forest floor. All right, this is spring water. Use a thimble on this. You can't use that item there. How about here? You can't, you can't. Where the heck can I use it? A waterfall you could do with a shower. You can't. A waterfall cast. Huh. You can't. You can't. You. 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 Can't. Okay, I obviously can't use it there. I know that now. The thimble can't be used here.
All right, we're gonna uh, remove ourselves from here. Let's examine our items. You can't use your map here. You don't want people to become suspicious of you. Okay. Pain. Not the bard. I don't want anything to do with the bard right now. All right, let's head on back to Manan's house. You pull out your magic map. Okay. Head on back to Manan's house. You feel house. a strange pulling sensation. All right, let's go upstairs. Go to the top of the mountain. Stairs. Go back to a bedroom. Let's take all our items, empty it under the bed. to press hide. Hide all, right? Hit all our items and we'll save our progress as bedroom. Items hid. All right. And that will be that will be a game for today. I think we'll take a little break and we'll continue another day. Let's save our progress, make sure we're safe, yes, and we'll be on our way. Quit the game for another day. Yes, I want to quit. Gamers, I'd like to thank you for watching me play King's Quest 3 to Air is Human. I hope you enjoyed our little walkthrough.